hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is eva anthony and today's video we're going to be doing a series of quizzes yeah for me it's that english if it's not correct so we're going to be doing a series of quiz um firstly i'm going to be starting with the citizenship test quiz let's see how nigerian i am i saw this um video on dima Ume's channel i'm going to drop a link to her channel and she was like that she would like other people to do this test and I said okay why not the first quiz here is um, this citizenship test will tell you if you're really Nigerian Ooh. the first question is why will you have kids um, the answers or the options to pick from are to pass the remote and bring your slippers from your room <laughs> to brag when you see your friends to love or to cherish them because they are cute obviously it's going to be because I want to love and cherish them let me take that second question your mother is shouting you shout back <laughs> you shout back well Second um, option, ask her why she is shouting like, are you mad? According to Jennifer, are you high or something? Hmm. Third option is you keep quiet. Fourth option is you look confused. You had better keep quiet. So I'm going with keep quiet. Third question is when you hear another, anything that sounds like a gunshot, you shout ole. You call the police. You ask what is happening. You drop everything you're doing and run. Omo, Japa, Oso, I go, Sari. What am I asking any question? Who will be police? Another question here is you are driving and you see people at a pedestrian crossing. You keep driving and insult people who try to cross. This is typical. Another one is you stop and let them cross. Speed up or stop but aggressively press your horn. Because I am so nice. I'm such a nice person. I am going to stop and let them cross. Please, let's be civil. <laughs> okay? So another question. You get an unexpected alert saying 150k has been paid into your account. You A. Contact the bank to fix the issue. Ooh. B. Start praying that EFCC doesn't come knocking on your door. <laughs> C. Quickly go and withdraw the money. D. Go to church and testify about God's favor. Now, the first instinct of an average Nigerian, quickly go and withdraw the money. Another person would want to go to church and testify about God's favor, right? You know, because you have been praying, you need money, you need money. And somehow, some way, 150,000 naira enter your account. Or more. Now, to go thank God, now, be. But what I am going to do by myself, me it's a personal um, choice i am going to contact the bank and fix the issue another question what will you eat today like this question i i don't like i don't like it honestly in as much as i like to cook i don't like looking for what it's like i don't like being asked okay bring options about what to eat guy just find out what you want to eat and come i'll cook it i'm fine i'll cook it okay so rice i guess is this a joke rice probably rice of course hmm the answer is average nigerian rice of course okay another question is your flight lands safely in nigeria you start clapping sit until the fasting seat belt sign is switched off stand up and start taking your things from the overhead cabin turn on your phone and start calling people well i honestly wouldn't know but what I think is, you sit until the fasting seatbelt sign is switched off, I guess. But I wouldn't know this because I have never been on a plane. Alright, so moving on. But I'm going to go with sit until the fasting seatbelt sign is switched off. Let's go. Okay, so I think... Oh, okay. So I've gotten my results and... The citizenship test will tell you if you're really a Nigerian. You got 75% Nigeria. 
you are a real Nigerian. Yay! But you have small international exposure. <laughs> it's okay, you're still one of us. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, we're going to move on to the next quiz now, which is this next quiz says only people who speak fluent Nigerian parents can get 10 over 13. Let's see how many I will get. It says Nigerian parents have a special way of communicating and that made learning to speak their language essential to surviving under their roof, which is very, very true. Now, we want to test how fluent you are. Try to decipher what at least 10 of these Nigerian parentisms mean. First question, what does this mean? Go and bring me the distance. <laughs> Here are the options. One, read my mind. Two, where is the dustbin? Three, lend me some. Lend you guinea. Lend you wish money. You better start reading the mind. When they say go and bring me the distance, I'm just gonna be looking for something. Go and just be guessing because you cannot. What which dustbin is that? Lend you which money? Hmm. Anyway, read my mind is my answer. Next one is what does this mean? Does she have two heads? Does she have a medical condition? No. Why did she do better than you? Are her parents still together? Definitely, why did she do better than you? Because this thing comes up most of the time when um, you go to school and then at the end of the term, they give you results and probably your parents' friend's daughter gets, um, gets first and you, you are coming second. They'll ask you, does she have two heads? Like, why can't you come first and she comes second? So that's basically it. My answer is going to be, why did she do better than you? What does this mean? What's up? What's up, I think. It means, what's up? Do you want to test this new shirt? How are you? Like, this is confusing. WhatsApp is an app, as far as I'm concerned. If what was written here was WhatsApp, I could have, okay, gone with that. But WhatsApp, I don't know, I don't get it. But let me go with, um, how are you? Well, I feel that. And the answer is WhatsApp. Weird. Next question is, what does this not mean? Have you eaten? I'm sorry. I love you. Are you hungry? Um, it's definitely, are you hungry? Because I don't know. <laughs> when they, Nigerian people tell you sorry. So like, what? sorry for what? Why would they tell you sorry? Like, <laughs> you don't have an idea. So let me go with, are you hungry? Oh, I got that. I don't have cash on me. Do you want my ATM card instead? I don't want to give you money. Let's get home first. I don't have cash on me. This answer should be, I do not want to give you money. Like, it's simple and short, straight to the point. Straight to the point. They are not even better know how to read English now because with a Nigerian parents, English is different, right? So, you want to read English differently. What does this mean, my friend? <laughs> you are my favorite child. You are now an adult. You are annoying me. You are seriously annoying me. That's the answer. You are annoying me. What does this mean? Go and wear your shoes and wait. Hey, Jesus. First of all, I don't know. You see that line? Go and wear your slippers. I'm waiting for you. Ah, anybody that knows yourself is better. Don't even try it with the Nigerian parents. They are not waiting for you. Once you go back to go and wear your slippers, that's the end. When you come out, they have disappeared. You cannot see them. That's number one language you're supposed to understand. You are not going anywhere. The next one here is, we will soon go home. Hmm. This thing. Like, I and my siblings talked about this like some days back. My mom. Let her not tell you, we will soon go home. That's the end. That's the end. The worst is when she says, I'm coming. Oh, we stayed here. Ah, Nigerian parents. Anyway, we'll soon go home. First option here is we are here for a few more hours. Start getting ready. Give which five minutes? Give me five. Answer is we are we are here for a few more hours. What does this mean? If I hear pim, <laughs> when a Nigerian mother tells you, if I hear pim, just zip your lips. Just zip your lips because if she truly hears pim, you're dead. Options here are. What did you say? Hmm. Another one here is shut up and then you are lying. I would definitely go with shut up. Like, keep quiet. If I hear people, 
Just shut up your mouth. <laughs> Another one here is put it on my head. Oh God, this is epic Nigerian mother slang. Epic Nigerian mother English. Like, put it on my head. <clears throat> Let me just read the options out. Figure out where to put it. Get me my cap. Leave this place. I'm going with figure out where to keep it. Yes, I got it. What does this mean? There's rice at home. Make some more stew. We are not stopping at any e tree. The rice will soon go bad. Definitely, we are not stopping at any e tree. There's rice at home. You can't go and eat rice. What does this mean? I'm strong. I've been exercising more. I can do it alone. I'm sick. I guess I'll go with I'm sick. Yeah, I got it. What does this mean? Let me hold your money for you. Bagang. Which, just forget it. You see all those Christmas money that they, they used to give us that time. Your mom should not be like, let me hold this for you, you know. Let me help you save it. Let me help you save it. That's the end. Forget it. It's not the student nowadays that will be like, mommy, that money you said you were going to give for me. I want it once, once. They know my boy you well to come and ask her for that money. Are you mad? <laughs> you can collect it later. It's mine now. I can help you save it. It's definitely mine now. Definitely, it's mine. It's my money now. Okay? The, the guy here is clapping for me. Like, seriously. I got... I got 12 out of 13. Right. <laughs> you killed it. Your parents are fully Nigerian and you really understand them. Like, duh. Okay, so let's go to the last one now. This third quiz says only people who went to school in Nigeria can get more than 10 over 14. I definitely went to school in Nigeria and I think we should try this. If you went to school in Nigeria, chances are that you used one of these books. Can you recognize them without their titles? Can you recognize them based on just their images? Here's an example, okay? Raya de Chicago, okay. So let's try this. Can you name this book? Definitely. It's without a silver spoon. Like I read this book with, as in, I don't even know how many times, I mean, how much times I read this book. So it says, the options are without a silver spoon, born without a spoon, only child. It's definitely without a silver spoon. Correct. The next question is, can you name this book, obviously? Um, Ugo Si Ugo, Ali and Simbi, Ugo Ugo. Definitely Ugo Si Ugo because I used this book for purposes like I wanted to die, common entrance. This book and Odiaka. Hush. Can you name this book? Understanding Mathematics, New General Mathematics, Advanced Mathematics. It's definitely New General Mathematics because Understanding mathematics is, I think, for primary school. I used that in primary school. New general mathematics is what I used in my secondary school. So it's definitely new general mathematics. Yes, I got it. Another one here is, I don't think I know this. I don't think I read this book, but I'm just going to go with my guts. And my guts is saying the answer should be the incorruptible judge yeah so yeah i got it <laughs> oh my god next one here is joys of motherhood i did not read this book either i didn't read this book but i know i heard about it but i didn't read it i think it was literature students that read this book in school then so let me just go with my guts again and say the question the options here are joys of motherhood the joys of motherhood and the joy of motherhood so i'm going to go with the joys of motherhood yes i got it <laughs> another one here is um a brief history of benin kingdom the gods are not to be blamed and the concubine i also did not read this book but once again let's go with our gods and i am going to go with um the gods are not to be blamed Ooh. I did not get it. The answer is the concubine. Can you read that book? By Elechi Amadi. Okay. Another one. Uh, definitely. Definitely. Eze goes to school. Macmillan readers. Chicken and the River. Definitely. Eze goes to school. Eze goes to school. I'm correct. Okay. This one is the Queen Primer. 
the new queen primer the queen's primer the answer is definitely the new queen primer i got it yeah so i don't know this the virtuous woman the virtuous woman virtuous woman okay so let's go with the virtuous woman correct can you name this book mother's choice second class citizen echoes of hard times this is going to be a hard one like i don't even know so i'm just i don't even know so i'm just going to go with the flow like i don't even know echoes of hard times oh and my mind was telling me mother's choice so my mind was telling me mother's choice anyway um this one is chicke and the river so the options are chicke and the river things fall apart and water stories i do not know that water stories but i definitely know things fall apart almost everybody should know that book and then chicken and the river so my answer is correct chicken and the river the next one here is i don't know this one koku baboni only child child of the baskets like what do you think koku ba i got it <laughs> i got it koku baboni wow Ooh, this one this one is the use of english definitely not um, brighter grammar and then the brighter grammar so you might want to think well on which to go with and let's see let's see let's see um brighter grammar yes <laughs> i got it can you name this book oh. ali and simbi mr edit lives in calabar Macmillan Primary English. It is Macmillan Primary English because this is primary four and this is this is primary four and this is actually about edits or Abo. I think this is Abo's story. Abo lives in Calabar. So yeah, I got 12 out of 14. He says here, yeah, forged by the fire of Nigerian schools. I greet you. I greet you too. Nigga, I greet you. I greet you. I see you too. Mm. I think this is the end. I really enjoyed this. Like, it was really fun. I've not done anything like this on my channel before. But immediately I saw it on Dima's page. I was like, okay, this should be interesting. I need to. I have to do this. Let me know your thoughts. And let me know if you're going to be doing this too. If you're going to be reacting to this thing. If there are more quizzes, please, 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 please. Put some for me down in the description box. And I would like to go through those quizzes. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for sticking around. Please subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. Drop a comment like this video and i'll definitely see you in my next one bye